Bonus video time. Lance and I had a great day smashing smallmouth on multiple wing dams. We show you how to remove a snag from the rocks and the lures that attracted one catch after another. Enjoy the video and comment below your biggest smallie. I think I got a smallmouth. Well, that's not going well. Let me try that again. There we go. The net ready in case you get a big one. Yeah. Second cast. Mm-hmm. On the hair jig. Give me that back, thank you. Cute. Cute? Yeah, compared to the last smallmouth you cut. Alright, I gotta do better. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I'll thank y'all. How do you get a great shot of the fish going into the water? Well, <laughs> <laughs> we look really ridiculous, but you don't see it. <laughs> the, the evil laugh. laugh. The laugh. <laughs> Second, third cast. A little better. A little better. Yeah. Yeah, real good. Oh, oh, looky. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Come here. Well, I think that one is oh, yeah. quite a bit better. You gonna <laughs> wag your tail? No? Okay. Well, that's alright. Got them! They're getting it as it's dropping. Not quite as big as the last guy. So what are you experiencing right now? <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, so there he is. So what am I experiencing right now? Not what I'm doing, what I'm experiencing is having fun. <laughs> Let's let him back in. What I'm doing is tossing the hair jig out right in front of the wing dam. And as it drops down, it seems to be right when they're catching it. And then yeah, they're pretty aggressive. Yeah, they've been, they're hitting it fast and hard. The yeah, water's warmed up quite a bit. It's almost 47 degrees right now we're sitting in 13 feet of water and we got a pile of rocks just downstream from us and Nikki's working that jig up and over those rocks got him oh that feels good Nikki's using the Radcliffe Aspire Series 6 foot 9 medium light action rod, PC Fun Carbon X2 2000. And she's got 8 pound mono on there from Strend. Oh, Ooh, yeah, it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You're not going anywhere. Come on. Come on. There he is. There we go. Look at that. Oh, you kind of got cheek. Okay. I'm going to get some assist from the pro here. There we go. That's why you're the expert. Look at that tank. That thing is even bigger than the second one I got. So pretty. They are. Look at that. Just a gentle, gentle little beast. 
Now you can see the wing dam pretty good. If you guys can see it. I think my finger's pointing to it, but it's like right along there. You can just barely see the ripples. I think he's bringing it right on top of those rocks and down the front face. Oh, and hooking up just like that. It's like almost every cast now. I know some ladies have trouble holding the rod because they put a lot of the pressure on their wrists. And one of the things that's nice about the Radcliffe rods is I can line it right up with my elbow to balance it out and not feel like I'm putting all the pressure on my shoulder or on my wrist. And I was just curious, Sir Angler X, if you do the same. Or yeah. You do it. Yep. Brace the rod up under your elbow. Gives you more leverage. It's easier on your wrists. Then. There you go, little buddy. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. I got some spunk in him. <laughs> he saw an opportunity and he almost took it. <laughs> oh, can I have that thumb back? Thank you. If you like it, then you should have put a hair jig on it. If you like it, then you should have put a hair jig on it. Don't be mad once you see that bass go by. Because if you like it, then you should have put a hair jig. Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, 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 whoa. I kind of want to put this camera on my hat so you can see a different angle. Ooh, look there. Hi, everybody. Down he goes. Up. Thank you for your assist. Okay. How does this one work? What's going on here? Let's see. This is... He is, yeah, he's... Uh, I'm going to need some professional help here. So it's going through... You make it look so easy. Nice. Thought you were gonna make me kiss it. Never thought I'd ask to be snagged before. Why is it so difficult for me to get snagged right now? Let me get snagged. Yes! <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do, because I'm snagged, is I'm gonna first let out a lot of line. And since the current is going down this way, I'm going to let the line just kind of work its way out a little bit. And eventually it's going to pull my lure out so that I can wrap it around and pull it back in. So I've let it kind of go down a little bit. Now I'm going to kind of give it a couple shakes, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Come on. And if I did it right, it is free. Yep, we're good. And that's how you get a snag out from the rocks below. Oh, got one. Oh, I almost had one. Oh, I wanted to double up. I love when we double up. It's so much fun. I got one on the blade. Got tired of watching Nikki catch fish. So. Actually, I'll never get tired of that. No. Oh. Beautiful brown bass. Get him back on the bleed. I uh, got as much stuff together as I could for the taxes, and I. Ooh, why am I always talking when you catch a fish? I'm just always talking. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm always catching fish. blades from Bass Pro. There's one. Oh, you do have one? Yeah, I can cast it in further. It feels pretty good. It's a good fish. It is yet. Smallmouth, I presume. Oh, yeah, big old snowy.
gorgeous fish. So pretty. It's kind of greenish color. It's supposed to be brown bass, but we'll let him go. We'll get him all over here. It's the uh, Minai blade bait from Bass Pro. Similar to the V rod, but I think this one's 3 8 ounce. But uh, Sartreuse and Black got it at that fish right on top of the wing dam. Oh, come on. Ah, now I got him. Just a little guy. But a, but a guy nonetheless. It's not the size that counts. It's the fight after the bite. It's gonna be a new thing that's gonna trend. Hashtag fight after the bite. Got him. I got some. There he is. There he is. Yeah, it looks like the little guys are out to eat. Look at him eyeballing me. He's eyeballing. Whoop. Oh, oh, I just tapped as soon as you tapped. I thought we were going to double up. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Come on. Quit playing with me. Oh, I hit it again. Ooh, hit I got it. a tank. Oh, you lucky. Ah, get the net. Yeah, you will. You got a tank. Thank you very much. <laughs> Got him. That's about as big as yours, right? Oh, you wish. He's probably like 18. <laughs> it's pretty big. There we go. Another beautiful smallmouth. They are just on fire. Can't get enough. Beautiful. Tight. Oh, he's tight. I got him. Go to the right. Go to the right. Ah, oh, your line. I got him. I'm gonna keep going by my line. Cause he knows. He's smart. And you go up and out. Ooh. Look at that. On the willow cat fluke. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, look at that tank. Beautiful fish. He's had a good fight. Let's let him let's let him get back in. Woo! Slippery over here. Whoa. Yeah, I got him. Oh. oh, this might be the biggest one I got yet. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Nope, it's not the biggest one, but he's close. Fuck. Beauty. He sure is. Or she? Come here, you. Gotcha. Well, I lost my last hair jig because, oops. So now I'm using, oh, that's that tiny little thing. Got it. Did you tie this? Yeah, I did. Is that pipeline? Yeah, it's pipe cleaner wrapped around there. Nice job. It's apparently effective because this guy liked it. A few spots on it. He does too. Is that going to fade in the summer, do you know? I don't know if they go away or not. That'd be an interesting thing to find out. And you can feel them. You can feel the 
yeah, oh this is dangerous stuff, yeah. yeah so that's pretty they don't hurt them so. pretty interesting Ooh, and he just slides in like butter sure, babe. here's one get one yep too spunky for a while eh? Molly. I think there's a school of them. Oh, I got them. There's rocks, so you gotta keep it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, nice little smelly. Sun has gone down. They're still catching them. Another one. What? Just like that. Impressive. strip of rocks right here comes off the end of the island and it runs all the way down to a wing dam here it's only a maybe four or five feet on top of these rocks here there are smallmouth there there's one oh. oh this one's a toad Winding down, this might be the last fish of the evening, depending on if I can keep Nikki out here. But <laughs> she is cold, and she said, when the lights go out, we go home. So much fun. I've been catching these smallmouth all afternoon. I've only been out for a few hours, and I don't know how many we've caught, but they have been on fire. Gadget arm. <laughs> Sundown smallmouth. Beautiful. Look how fat that thing is. Yeah, that thing's got a belly. Lifta. These smallmouth are ridiculous today. Just one after another. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. We had an awesome afternoon on the Mississippi River smashing smallmouth. Nikki caught some great ones, I got some good ones. We just kept moving around, pitching jigs on rocks. Those fish were super active tonight. Uh, we didn't have to really slow the bait down too much at all. They were just crushing it. So get out and enjoy some of the spring smallmouth action on the Mississippi River. You won't regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We'll see you out on the water. See ya.